Okay, guys, uh, another question. Um, if, if I actually sound weird on this um, video, it's because I've had uh, uh, tooth surgery. So I seem to be talking with a lisp at the moment. Um, but anyway, uh, chap called David says about, uh, thanks for the comments as well, David, here, um, about having a different PayPal button to the one that's uh, default. And yeah, it, it is, it's quite easy to do. Um, if you just go into, I'll just, uh, I'll just go into a new design and I'll show you how to, how to get on with this. Okay. Right. Just go into PayPal, um, like you do, like I did in the video about e-commerce and just put my password in there. All right, um, when it loads. Okay, so you go to tools like you did in the other one, PayPal business setup, and then you go to this. And what I chose there was option B because that's you're going to create your own buttons there. With option A, that would be somebody who was doing it for you. So you create the payment button, okay. All right, okay, so here we got, um, I'm not going to go over this uh, item name and all that because that would be whatever you want and I did that in the other video. Okay, so this is uh, your customer's view, which is the buy now button, which is the default. You can also have a smaller button of that as well, um, but the old really, you, you know, PayPal stuff as soon as you see it. Well, to customize text or appearance, uh, what you it's got PayPal button. Uh, uh, do, do, do. What's this? Use your own button. Okay. And I'll just there. So what comes up this is uh, a web address, HTTP, and then your forward slashes and that. Um, you can do that if you know where your your button is and that. That's that would that would work very well. Um, of course, there's uh, another way you can do it. Um, but we'll just go back to. PayPal button, as I say that you can do it that way by having a button um, where you know it is on your website, for example, but there's two ways to do it. I'll just show you this way because um, I actually haven't got a button that, that I've got in mind where it is on my, any of my sites. So anyway, so I've got PayPal button, create button. Okay. So this will just look like what you've already got. And I'll just go into Bootstrap Studio first and put the pretty product layout. I'm going to change this one here on the left. So if you just uh, select the code and, and copy it. All right, and then copy and then back into Bootstrap Studio. Um, and this bit here, just convert to HTML and edit code go up here and then you just put in your PayPal code control V all right okay so there we have that but I've got a, a one on the desktop I've got a button on the desktop that um, I'm just going to pop and I've just put this as buy okay so we just import that by moving it and hopefully that's gone in yeah it's gone into there when under the images on the right hand side there Okay, so that to uh, form the PayPal things come out there. So we just say that and the bit that we're going to change here uh, for David and anyone else that's interested is I don't know, of course, what anybody's site's like, but this is just a demonstration of a button that can be used. Um, and what we're going to do there is we're just going to put in buy now, buy dot png okay and then you just apply that all right okay so then we're just going to put a preview it should go in edge because i'm using windows here all right there's your buy now of course you can you know you it's it's slightly big that but um you know you can have whatever size you want you know i mean you, you just you, you can knock that down easy enough anyway so you just click that buy now and that should take you to paypal hopefully yeah Okay, so this has got, um, well, it's one of my websites, Amberflame, which is uh, one that's already set up. So basically, uh, 
for David and, and anybody else that may be interested in that's all you really do uh, so that that's uh, as I said you can actually do it uh, through your web address and if you want to know exactly where your image is on your web address you can actually just put your web address forward slash say that one there if that was on my one I could have um, or I could have um, amaflane.me.uk forward slash buy dot png and you'd be able to get the image from that and that would work fine as well so there's two ways of doing that one that would be my preferred way the the way i've just done there though so anyway thanks for watching